It's that time again. Ten urban celebrities battling it out in a series of traditional style challenges to prove who knows the ways of their ancestors best. Oh, and this mean prize. Check this out. A trip for two to Samoa, the Pearl of the Pacific, courtesy of Samoa Tourism, with a luxurious five-night stay at the stunning Taumea Sina Island Resort. Woo! Chuck me in your suitcase, please! I will be your duty-free! It's time to ditch the digital and bring the traditional. If you know, you know! This time, it's bigger. It's meaner. It's back, baby! Know your roots! Let's go! Previously, on Know Your Roots. I'm quite nervous. Series 4 is bigger and better than ever. Ten contestants, more episodes, more eliminations. Bye-bye, losers! Took a little coconut water in there. I saw her pull the needle into the can. I know damn well she cheated. Team Karaka, take the last spot. Oh, my days. Team Kofi, you have been eliminated. It's only been week two and I already seen another two home. Unfortunately, in the break, one of our contestants, Pet Mel, was feeling unwell and has had to leave Know Your Roots. We come second. Something has been brought to my attention from last week's challenge. Judas cheated. It's Fijiana time. You guys are going to be competing in an urban Ngalu challenge. And I just chuck all of it into the saucepan. I hope the whole thing burns. You didn't like that. You liar. The person leaving today is Dom. You will be competing in a Puhene Hene inspired challenge. Last toss of the day. I'm a champ! That's right. No one is leaving today. You are all safe and going through to next week. Talofa lava. Malo elele. Pulavinaka. Haele mai. And congratulations to making it this far in your Know Your Roots journey. I am feeling quite confident because I've been doing well in all these challenges. I think it's safe to say we've all bonded a little bit over our trauma. Gabby. How are you feeling after last week's non-elimination? You know what? I love it. Make it harder. Joe's my only competition here, so let's go. New Zealand versus Aussie. The biggest threat in the competition is Gabby. Joe and Charlie are my only competitions here. The other two must be here to hold my bags. Wyata, you won the last challenge. Give you confidence? Yeah, definitely. But I think we all deserve to be here at this point, so game on. Cute. <laughs> I haven't been close to any eliminations, so yeah, I don't think I'm at risk of going home at this point. I feel like I'm gonna make it into finals. Charlie, do you feel like you've had more challenges than most? Yeah, I think I've had the most challenges, but I think the, the biggest challenges are with Joe. <laughs> you guys' journey hasn't been easy. It hasn't been smooth sailing. There's been a lot of ups and downs for you guys' vakas. From Pit Mal's sudden departure, to Judah getting busted for her Goluku styles in the coconut cream challenge. All the way to the non-elimination. There's definitely been a few surprises. You better not drop another surprise on us or I'm gonna get your boots and I'm gonna throw it at your head. So why stop there, eh? Brigand! What? That's right. We have a Know Your Roots wild card. No way. No, you're being serious. Oh, geez, here we go. I knew something was coming. Regan appears from the bushes, and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. My, 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 how the tables have turned. Woo! I'm back, baby. I just don't think this is fair. He's scared and he's mad as hell, and that's OK. Welcome back. I'm happy to be back, man. Charlie, how are you going to feel if Regan wins it from here? Well, to be honest, we've done all the hard work, and to see this guy just, um, Magically appear from nowhere. It's a bit of a kick in the teeth, but um, hey, it's a good competition. He lost fair and square in the first round. Why are they giving him another chance? What the heck? Had I known you could come back, I would have eliminated myself <laughs> in the first round, so I wouldn't <laughs> have to do the sand dunes. <laughs> but grateful, grateful, grateful. It's very exciting. It's good to have Regan back, to be honest. A good competition. I can already feel the deep stairs of doom. Stuffing all these knives on my back. Oh, man. Love it, love it. OK. 
Let's get down to business, eh? It doesn't matter if you're Samoa, Fiji, Vanuatu, all of our cultures have a version of this throughout the Pacific. I'm talking about a fale or a bure. The foundations of which have always been sourced from the environment around us. From the trees, to the leaves, to the palms that we use for the roofs, to the sinnet made from coconut husks. Not only for structure, but this sinnet was used for lashings to bind and hold everything together. But not only that, but the lashings also told the stories of our ancestors and our journeys. I'm very concerned because if this is an individual challenge, I am going to struggle. Today, you will be competing in a whale or bure building inspired challenge. Where we come from, the Kingdom of Tonga, we don't have whales or bures, you know, we're, we're quite balangi, you know, we have windows, doors, AC, heated floors. This is quite foreign to us. You will be divided into three teams of two. You must use the materials that have been left for you, and each team will get a tree of which to build their whale around. We encourage creativity in your design, but also to draw from your cultures. You will be judged on the strength of your fales, the sturdiness of it, the intricacy of your lashings, but also if it's weatherproof. I feel like I just, could just do this on my own. First team to complete the challenge goes straight into the grand final. The losing team... Both of you will be going home. That's right. Today is a double elimination. I'm hearing it's a double elimination, so maybe it'll be like a double resurrection next week. I'm not sure. You just can never tell with this game. Today's teams will be decided by you. We're going back to the old favourite, drawing straws. The two people whose straws are the same length will be in the same team. All good? Yeah. All good. So I've got my stick, I turn to Waiata and I'm like, I hope it's not you, oh my gosh. Caitlin's my partner! <laughs> I am so happy right now. Thank you, everyone. Why to and me together? Oh, we are so happy. I'm with the mighty Gabby. Yes! I've got the builder. Oh my gosh! And I see that my straw is the same as Joe's. I've got the dead weight. I've got the person who's like been resurrected. And so now I've got to figure out how am I going to use you to get me to the finals. Joe is looking at me like, um, I do not want to be teamed up with you. And I'm just like, come on, man. Anyone, just anyone want to be my friend here? Anybody? You will be competing in a whale or bure building inspired challenge. You must use the materials that have been left for you. You will be judged on the strength of your whales, the sturdiness of it, the intricacy of your lashings, but also if it's weatherproof. The losing team, both of you, will be going home. Each team will have one and a half hours to complete this challenge. I'm a Naki Kamata. Yo! Maunakai! Yo! Tolu! Ua! Taha! Go! Straight away, me and Gabby grabbed our brace up on the tree. Why is it we immediately go to cut the bamboo that we've been given? The first thing we do is get our centre beam of our home stabilised, so we just latch it onto the tree and we just start tying, tying, tying. So he just starts feeding the rope through and then tying it tight so that we can start building off of it. I'm doing just pretty much anything, just in the loop, over the loop, over the tree. Oh. Regan has no idea what he's doing. He's just trying to put it through the holes. But, you know, working with the boys, I've just learned, like, just let them do whatever and then go back and tidy it up once they're done. We are sawing away to make our bamboo sticks even. I can see uh, Y and Caitlin, they're already, like, measuring. I feel like that's something that they shouldn't be doing. They should be just straight chucking everything on and just, just go ahead, go, go, go. So I go and grab the green pillar and then Charlie starts to measure it. For me, I want it to go big. You gotta bear in mind, a fale is a place of gatherings. You invite people for a kai. So it's gotta be enough for people to fit in. Yeah. In the middle of there. Honestly, when we first started, we didn't discuss anything. We just were hoping that we all go all right. So we've got our beam all strapped up. Grab the uh, the big green um, bamboos. I realised they're a bit too tall, um, so I've got to chop them down. The next thing we did was tie everything together, basically, so that we had a strong base. Waiata and Caitlin, they're setting theirs up on the ground, and I'm thinking, what are these two girls up to? Oh, we start trying to um, work on the walls of the home. I'm going away at the saw and I suck. 
He tries to saw the first um, pose. But I was like, you're pretty hopeless for a boy. So then I take over because I'm more of a man. And I'm just in there soaring, soaring, soaring. Ta-da! Amazing. Yeah, as I looked over at Regan and Joe's team, I realised that Joe does all the work and Regan just stands around and asks Joe, Joe, oh, Joe, where do you want this flex? Joe, Joe, where do you want this? Man, if my dad's watching this, um, he's going to be very ashamed of, of me. We wanted to make it cultural based. We thought a fare karakia would be perfect. So a fare karakia is a place to pray, somewhere where you go to release stress, anger, to wish upon something greater than us. Just like anything in life, when the foundation is strong, everything else falls into place. So we built from the ground up. Our plan going forward from here, again, I'm just following the leader. I'm looking over at Charlie and Gab. It's awfully quiet, which is like very strange for them too. We were given stakes to put into the ground to give the bamboo a bit more sturdiness, but we decided to put the bamboo on top of it because the bamboo had holes in them. That's big dreams for a short boy. I am like channeling my ancestors, and because I'm a descendant of the best fishermen in Samoa, we're going to make this home in honour of them. Our lashing was very important because we didn't have any nails, so the lashing had to be strong. We haven't attached it to the ground. Surely it's going to be sweet. I'll just give it a whack with the hammer. So the idea was to keep it square, but the front shaped like a triangle, only because we want a front door piece so that there's only one way to enter. And then we just start putting all our bamboos over the top. <laughs> it's looking good. It's looking all right. Regan and I are ahead of everybody. Once again, why? Because the secret is me. I think we've got this in the bag. I look over and like, they're moving really fast, but then I realise it's because their fale is quite low. The direction that we're kind of building in, it's looking a little bit backwards, but it looks good. And I'm thinking, this is Hobbit Town. What are they up to? You can tell Gav is a little bit scared. I would be too. I'm not going home today. I'm not going home today. No way. I can't go home twice on the series, man. 30 minutes left, everyone. Come on. So after we built our base, we decided we needed to add the roof. As soon as Gabby seen me stacking up the roof, she got straight into our weaving, the centerpiece. I've taken the lead to do the, start doing the lashing on the tree um, and doing a pattern. Because that's the most important part as well. As our visitors come in, that's the piece they see. We look on the ground, we see that there's a mat on the ground. We're being um, judged on our house being watertight. So instead of putting the mat on the floor like all the other teams, I put it onto the roof. Hey, I'm a little bit worried about the tea car, but hey, that was Joe's idea, all right? So if he gets the curses going on, uh, that's on him, all right? We figured out that we just placed some bamboo on top, then we decided to chuck the leaves on. So with the lashing, so we've got the black rope and the brown rope, so it's going right, left, and you always have to tie a knot, so it should make a pattern down the middle. So stressful to do the roofing because obviously leaves aren't gonna make the roof fully waterproof, neither is bamboo, unless you have enough material. Yeah, I'm just getting very really frustrated with him at this point. I don't know what he's doing. Joe just wants to win. He doesn't care that I'm on his team. He just wants to win. That's, that's the main goal of this. Boring. We had the palm leaves. We went over and under, over and under, over and under, all the way through. And then we had the banana leaves over as well. And then we just started shutting it over with all the rest of the flex. Regan and I actually finish a lot faster and a lot earlier than everybody else because I'm so confident, like too confident, some may say. Whoa. Team fishermen reckon they're finished. So I start to put on my thinking cap and I start to weave a mat. We decided to hang the leaves um, as a door entrance to make it look pretty, but to also block out bad spirits because it was a fare karakia. And then we used the harakeke um, just to, you know, give credit to our tipuna um, and also because we thought that it would make it look pretty. It's time to just spruce it up a little bit more. We've got our, like, lounge suite going on. It's looking really homely. Five minutes left, lima minutes. I'm running around, rushing around, look like a crazy lady. We had a makeshift little wall where we put the skinny bamboos. I envisioned this build in the islands, you know, sometimes like, you know, the pigs might just often wander into the fale, so that's just to keep all the pigs out, keep all the chickens out. You're building a hotel on that side, I'm like, oh man, that's huge. I'm looking around, making sure everything looks pretty, fixing the roof. One minute left, come on! 
So by the time I finish lashing the rope, I look up and Charlie's got our roof oh, on. Got a washing line. And then I see he's even made a little washing line for us and he's tied it to the tree. And I'm like, okay, I know you're married and everything, but this is kind of hot. Charlie's there, he's a man. And I'm actually starting to get a little peed off at Gabby because I just feel like she's starting to like step on my toes a little bit. And so yeah, I'm gonna end that relationship before it even starts. I'm sort of starting to fall in love with my teammate and then I'm like, no, we're toho uso. Time's up. Well done, partner. Shim says time's up and I'm thinking to myself, did we waste a bit of time just chilling or should we have like tweaked a few things? Everybody else's while is looking nice, but they can't beat ours, bro. No way. You will be competing in a Fale or Bure building inspired challenge. I'm rushing around, look like a crazy lady. I think we've got this in the bag. I look over and like, they're moving really fast. Gav is a little bit scared. I would be too. Everybody else is finally looking nice, but they can't beat ours, bro. No way. First of all, guys, bucky bucky, mate. As a Tangata Moana, I'm looking at your guys' fallies. I'm so proud. I'm actually really proud of everybody's fallies as well. I'm quite confident that we are going to the grand final. I, I really think that we've won this one. Manawahine, the aesthetics of your whare, beautiful. Pretty close to being the most beautiful of all of them. You know, it was beautiful. Our one was so pretty. But your weatherproofing left a lot to be desired. A lot of water came through there. I will 100% own that it was terrible. Hello. They had, like, so many gaps in it, like their brain. Team Fishermen, awesome. It's the weaving of the mat, using your whala underneath the thatch on the top for weatherproofing. Great thinking, great ideas. That's pretty ill that you're putting something that we sit on as the roof. You're just asking to get cursed. What got me was your house looked backwards. And then he says, ah, uh, but you built your house backwards. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, we did. And also, it was a little bit low. Funny how the, the biggest team had the lowest house. <laughs> it's nice, but to me, it looked like a dog's kennel. There was also a safety issue with some of the beams that you guys had sticking out at your entrance there. It would have been very easy for someone of medium height to take an eye out <laughs> and, you know, on the entrance and stuff. I haven't brought up his health, so I don't know why he's bringing up the safety of my home. But, uh, fishermen, you weren't being judged on health and safety. Team Doko Uso, great whale. The biggest whale, the strongest whale. Great ideas from the fellas at your entrance to the washing line. Hygiene, bro. It was all about that foundation, and we did that from the get-go with our bracing. But the weatherproofing let you down a little bit, bro. You know, I was like, at this point, I knew that, bro, we we're going to get exposed for the weather test. Obviously, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> we judged your whale on three criteria. The first was the aesthetics. Second, the structure and solidity of your house. And three, the water tightness. These scores are out of 10. We'll start with Team Fisherman. First of all, aesthetics, the pretty fullness of it all, you got a seven. For structure and strength, we gave you a six. For weatherproofing and water tightness, you got a 10 out of 10. Yes, that's gonna take us through right to the finals. Easy dubs. Frick, we're done. Team Doc also. For aesthetics, we gave you an eight. For structure and stability, you got a nine. When I hear a nine for stability, I'm like, man, that's just a reflection of us. For weatherproof, we gave you a seven. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I'm low key like this. Um, still counting on my fingers, trying to figure out the maps. Team Manawahine, for aesthetics, the pretty fullness, you got a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 is perfect. Our confidence is up here. For structure and stability, you got an eight. Oh my gosh, are we even right now? For weatherproofing and water tightness, you got a four. So I'm trying to do the maths of my team, trying to do the maths of everybody's team, but I'm just confused. No one actually had a clue what the scores were. And by then my maths is like, um, never mind. Um, Shim, tell us who won. So based on those scores, the team that wins today, Doc also. Yeah! I can't believe we won. Like, I'm in shock. We're safe. We're going through to the grand final. Like I told you guys this morning, 
At this stage of the competition, we're putting it back to use. The winning team will choose who goes home today. You have 30 seconds to make your decision, then let us know who's going home. Oh my gosh, I can't go back home again, man. No way. I'm nervous. If I was in their position, I would choose us to go home, otherwise we're going to win. I'm actually a little bit concerned because for Gabby, I'm a threat. Team Toko also. Please tell us who's going home today and why. <sighs> this is probably the hardest decision ever. <laughs> you know, you guys are so great, like both of you. Oh, I can't do it. Shut the hell up and tell us who's going home, man. <laughs> We've decided the team going home. <laughs> Bye, girls. Really, guys? And what the hell's Regan doing here? <laughs> You're going to the final! Yeah! <laughs> Kaylin, Waiata, oh! your Know Your Roots journey ends today. I love competition. And today really stood out that Joe and Regan were our biggest threats. So we wanted them to stay here. The girls, not so much. My time on this show was amazing. And I wouldn't have wanted to do it with, like, any other people. Oh, man. Somebody who just snuck in the game is going to the grand final. <laughs> Everyone must hate me by now. It's quite, like, amazing to represent my Māori culture in this show. At the end of the day, I'm super proud of who I am. I'm very happy to be here. I learned so much about not just my culture, but so many other Polynesian cultures. So in the past seasons, it's always been the wahine that has won and taken it out. I feel like Gabby may have made a bad decision right there. I love that it's just me against the boys. You made a mistake, girl, because I'm about to win this one. I'm feeling a bit stoked. I'm happy that I've got this far with grand final time, baby. Next week, I'm coming for you, Joe. I'm really hoping that I take it out. I didn't come all this way just to, like, lose. Hello? But anybody but um, Rico. We're off to the grand final, baby! Holy order to making it to the Know Your Roots grand final. Yeah. Yeah. We're at the Know Your Roots grand final, baby. Let's go! You have all been fierce and true to her. Except for Regan, he hasn't am, done anything. Sure, Regan. He's wearing vans. Like, he's not even ready. Regan's still got his vans on. Regan has come fresh and he's not really prepared mentally and physically for what's to come. He's wearing all his gears. He has no idea. Regan, you do not deserve to be here. I'm not too worried about how they feel about me. I'm just in it to win it for myself. And as soon as I do, man, I'm going to be just straight flaunting that. 